Hello Libra, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Libras, but I'm hoping it will. A lot of you anyway. But this is for Libra. December 2018, Full Celtic Cross Comprehensive. Libra. December 2018, Full Celtic Cross. Let's see what the beginning energies are. I'm hoping for positive energy in December for Libra. The Sun card, happiness, uh, joy, uh, fulfilling your dreams, laughter. It's a good card coming in. Maybe it's going to bring some of that in. Or maybe you're going to start feeling it, like I said. Knight of Cups in the upright. That's the current subject at hand. What's crossing it? The Queen of Swords. Now the Knight of Cups, get back to that, is could be a water energy or someone taking on an energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is crossing this energy which is a positive energy, it's in the upright, is the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords could be an air sign, someone taking on an energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It's crossing the Knight of Cups. So this could be your, you could be taking on this energy even though you are not a water sign. It could be that somebody is offering you something. And you may not want to accept it. You could be feeling like it's not something you want right now. Maybe because you're, you're thinking about how to gain your happiness elsewhere. But i got to clarify this. Your goal is to come out of ruin with the Ten of Swords. Foundation, Princess of Cups, Cups Energy again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in the upright. They're a kind person. They, uh, they have a gentle way of speaking. They nurture people. They're there for these people. They give you a shoulder to cry on. But you're just trying to come out of ruin or stay out of ruin. That's your goal. Remember, we had happiness in there. Now, in the past, you felt a little trapped with the Eight of Swords. You felt bound, and you felt like you couldn't get out of a situation you were in. Or maybe it's somebody else around you that feels this way. Because it could be the people around you, too, that represent these cards. But I'm calling this for you, Libra. This is for you. In your future, you're going to go on top of things. You may decide to go up against somebody and win. This is Seven of uh, Wands. And the Seven of Wands is somebody can be still defensive, but in a positive way. They take back their power. They're letting people know that they're going to do what they want in life. And they're going to hell or high water do it. I'm going to lay out four more cards. But I want to clarify these first before I go on to these. It's the outside environment. It's the advice from the universe and the possible outcome from that if you take the advice. So we got two kind of like outcomes. But I want to see what the Knight of Cups is offering to the Queen of Swords, which could be you. Or like I said, it could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But let me get another card for the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. It's crossing it. You don't feel like this person, even though they're in the upright, this cups energy, even though they're giving you a good offer, you, you don't think it'll make you happy possibly, or you don't think you'll make them happy. Can I get another card for the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. I don't know if you can hear that clearly. One more card for that. Because you want a new beginning. You want to jump into a new beginning.
start something brand spanking new. It could be that I'm feeling this for a few of you strongly. That someone may offer you something and you may turn down because you don't think this new beginning will make you happy. Or like I said, vice versa. You could be doing this, offering this to somebody else. Now the goal is to come out of ruin. You felt like something ruined you or something was a disaster. Something was coming out of feeling betrayal. Ten of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Libra? As the goal or what crowns them? Coming out of feeling trapped. Eight of Swords in reverse. Remember in the past you felt trapped. Your goal is to break free from that. Can I get another card for the Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords? Both good cards for a goal to get out of, you know, come out of that stagnant situation. Can I get another card? Yeah, because you're worried. You felt left out in the cold. You felt like something really messed you over, so you're going to just break free from it. Consider it done. But having a goal and, and actually accomplishing that is two different things. It's up to you how you want to proceed with it. You can gain, go for it and accomplish it. Or you could just be thinking about it because it's all nervous type mental energy. You know? It's thoughts and feelings that really hurt. Now the Princess of Cups is the foundation in the upright. Why are you there for Libra? Two wants to come out. I'll let it. May have an ending with this person, or they may have ended it with you. As a foundation, this situation already happened because someone was feeling trapped. Someone didn't like what the Four of Cups had to offer. Let's find out what the Eight of, Eight of Swords in the past is about. Eight of Swords. Why are you there for Libra? There it is, a seven of, seven of Wands. Someone is thinking, I need to break free. I need, I need to take control. I need to get on top of this. Can I get another card? And it could be that somebody was trying to do this with you in the past. But I need another card. Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, why are you there? Why are you there? Prince of Wands. Prince of Wands is an energy that goes back and forth, a lot of energy. They're here and there, and they're very, very busy, and they never stay in one place. So someone may have gotten defensive or took control or decided to take a stand. It had to do with the Prince of Wands. Could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius there in the upright. Like I said, it could be someone just taking on some of that fire energy. It could be you. It could be you saying, I, need, I'm, I feel trapped. I can't stand it. I need my freedom. I need to be able to move, move around, and a little, little bit of freedom. Now, in the near future, you got the Seven of Wands. It's taking control, taking a stand. Why are you there, Seven of Wands? Why are you there in the near, very near future for Libra? Listening to yourself, listening to your intuition, and telling people what you want in life. You may come across as a little, um, how can I say it, aggressive, but not in a negative way. You're going to say, I know what I'm feeling, I know what I'm thinking, I'm trusting my gut feeling on this. And I'm right, that's what you're going to say. Because you have hope. For the future, you got hope for what you want. You got wishes and dreams. And you're going to stand up for yourself and, and take on your power. Take on that energy of, of strength in a way. Because you're going to listen to yourself. Poss okay, now this could be the possible future outcome or the advice from the universe that can open a door for you. It's abundance. 
Three of Cups, a celebration, getting things you want in life and celebrating about them. You're celebrating your accomplishments. Three of Cups, why are you there for Libra? As the vice card or the poss in the possible future outcome. Because before, possibly desire wasn't there. It's saying abundance is coming, but at the same time, you may not know exactly what you're wanting, but you're going for something. But you're like holding back for a little, a little, re for some reason, with the lust card in reverse. Can I get another card for the three of cups and the lust card? Prince of Swords, okay. You can get abundance with the universe. Now, this is advice for the universe, so you can get abundance. You gotta make sure your desires and wants, <clears throat> your wants are, in right, are right. That you don't let your ego get in the way. Because the Prince of, of Swords is next to that. And that's like a someone who can let things get out of control. Or they can make their energy could be very forceful. And it may offend a few people. People will not understand what you are wanting. And if you can sit there and relay the information properly, abundance can come your way. You've got to be careful of this. That you don't become too offensive and push everybody away. Even though you may have a good reason for all I know. I know you want to come out of feeling trapped and burdened and everything else. But remember the people around you. Leave it as good karma. I'm not saying you have to get back with this person or they have to get back with you. It could be them that the advice is for. But you are just to do things that are right with karma and the things that you want brought back to you, that you will want done to you if you were on the opposite end of this. <clears throat> what is coming towards you, Libra? Someone wants to come in anxiety, possibly, with the Nine of Swords. Can I get another card for the Nine of Swords coming towards Libra in reverse? So I'm thinking someone wants something. Prince of Disc could be wanting to come in anxiety with you. This could be an earth energy or someone just taking on that energy. Someone who is stable and sound minded. They're coming in towards you wanting to come in anxiety. For some of you, it could be an actual person of uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Can I get another card for the Nine of Swords and the Prince of Disc in the upright? Yeah, they want to come out of anxiety and a heartbreak, heartbreaking situation with you. Okay? Now, the Prince of Swords can be male or female. It doesn't matter because I am reading for the masses. Now your hopes and fears, Libra. <clears throat> The past? Are you hoping for something in the past or are you fearing it? Or are you thinking too much in the past? Six of Cups. Why are you there for Libra is the hopes and fears. You afraid you won't be able to move on to new things because of the past, because of thinking in the past, or because of somebody in the past? Can I get another card? Six of Cups. And the universe in reverse while you're there. You're afraid you'd be chained to whatever happened in the past that you'll be you won't be able to leave it behind. You feel like you will stay chained some way. Or that someone you may feel that you're afraid someone may feel this way towards you. Feeling chained and stuck. 
outcome, final outcome, you're coming out of heartbreak and the people around you are. That's the Three of Swords in reverse. Usually it's about coming out of heartbreak. i got to see what other cards are. If it's a negative card next to it, it could be that. You know, you're staying in it, but it depends. i got to pick up on the energy. Three of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Libra? That's the final outcome. Energy. Coming out of heartbreak from someone in the past that went south, it didn't work out. You're coming out of heartbreak with them. Coming to terms with everything that happened. Can I get another card with the Three of Swords and the Lovers in reverse? They're both in reverse. Could be that someone is still... Now, there's the Abundance card again. You're wanting abundance. You're wanting celebrations. You're wanting happiness. I see you or somebody may be coming out of a heartbreaking situation. And abundance is still moving forward, like I said. It's slowly moving in. You're still going to feel a little bit of it or it wouldn't be there. But it's not as harsh as it was. It's not what you think it is. Can I get another card? One more card. The Three of Swords, the Lover's card, and the Abundance. Yeah, coming out of sorrow and heartbreak with the Lover. Or they be coming at it with you. Is your desire and abundance and celebrations. Even though there was manipulation there. Whether you're doing it or somebody else did it to you because that's a magician in reverse. You got the hair font as the final outcome energy in reverse. So it is about a relationship that maybe an ex partner, family, someone you have some kind of serious life contract with. So for some of you, it can be employment. But I see someone is very hurt here. And the other person is still going for the abundance. The other, Neither person wants to see each other hurt. I don't see that here. I see someone wanting to come out of pain. But I also see somebody else wanting to go on with their life. And when they have goals and they have aspirations of success... And they're going to go for that for the time being, at least in December, the first part. So I'm seeing just hurt feelings, leftover energies. And maybe it'll change up when I uh, give another reading before the middle of December. So if this is not what you like, if you don't like this reading, change it. Change this course. If you're afraid of this course and you don't like the way it's going, just change up how you change it. You look for others to be happy, or you ask others to be happy for you. Yes, others to allow you some freedom to express new ideas and go on to new things. So this doesn't have to end. But it may very well, because, you know, things happen like this. And you just went through a... Um, Venus in retrograde in your sign. But it's moving forward now, so better things are coming. But for the first, next couple of weeks, it's still going to be a little iffy because of Mercury in retrograde, which is called miscommunications. That's why I want to read for you again. Like I said, before mid-December. And I'll talk to you later, Libra. You have a good day or a good week or a good month. Bye.